Wars. Here's my version of the pellet burning rocket stove. These are the three burn plates and the burner tube. I copied this from ROM1NB. Thanks to him for all that work figuring this out. It's got the five holes, quarter inch, a couple smaller holes. My burner though does not have the inside blocked as much as ROMs. I don't know if you can see it well here or not, but I just have an abbreviated feed ramp in there which doesn't block the top half of the tube off. This is the stove. It's an old hot water heater tank. It will run up to nearly 600 degrees. I found that the plates the pellets burn on are really the thing that regulates the stove once you have enough air going into it. I've drilled three 5 16 holes in the square tubing here. They let air in right into the drilled holes in the burn tube. My sheet metal skills are not too good. This perforated burn plate will run 450 degrees. This first wire plate in the center ran quite a bit hotter. It's bad steel got flaky, blocked the pellets from falling through. This last burn plate here is the wire from an old oven rack. It's a higher quality steel and it stays smooth and it runs pretty good. I do have to tend the stove though. I, it will not run continuously unless I tap the plate get the pellets to fall through. So I'm going to have to tinker over that in order to get this stove to run without watching it. So that's the end of my first video. I hope it was helpful. So long for now.